but you got to follow me back. Don't get in front of me because I don't know if this thing's going to break down. Okay. It runs like it looks. Fire her up. Come on. It does run. Sounds smooth. pretty good. Last year it was like, clack, 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 clack. I can't believe it started that well. I got no horn. Go, go! Unless you want an RV in the bed of that truck stand, you better go. Come on! We're going to the Grand Canyon. Virtually. Ah. Oh. Does this thing have hazard lights? I'm gonna keep it in first gear. No, I think that's the trick. That's all you need, what? What are we going, 10, 15 miles an hour? Look, we're getting, we're getting passed by a bicycle. I think I found the problem. There's no air filter. Hey, Google Maps says we're only three minutes away. I'll tell you, it's like a hybrid. You can't even tell it's running. Oh, the neighbors love me. My backup cameras aren't working. How about the uh, mailbox? Oh, the mailbox good? Steve. Steve, don't give it a lot of gas. Just let it idle. We're going to push you up. Just give me a minute. Everybody, one, two, three. Come on, come on, move. Here we come. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on, come on, come on. Damn it. We're home. Hi. Getting to be what time of year? Christmas! My name's Steve Harbaugh. Hi, I'm Gina Harbaugh. So I have three children. Angeline is my oldest, she's almost eight. Like, ask me what's my favorite color. Zachary, he's six years old, he's my middle guy. Uh oh, don't do that. And Zoe is my daughter, she's four years old. How old are you, Zoe? 52 and 55, 60 million. So I was always inspired by the movie Christmas Vacation. I thought, hey, wouldn't that be great to do that to our house that we just built? Never did it for three years. And the fourth year I said, hey, we're gonna do it. He took that and ran with it. So he put the lights all over the house. And that's where everyone said, oh, it looks so beautiful. And no. It was beautiful and elegant. And I said, what? You know, that wasn't the look we were going for. So I really had to step it up, you know, the second year. Whether it's June, July, October, uh, we start thinking about what are we going to do this year. And so I rented an RV from a guy in Westville for a hundred bucks. He parked it out front and I had a little mannequin with a little motor on it to simulate, you know, Cousin Eddie. And that's when people said, oh yeah, that's the Griswold house. And um, we had a ton of traffic instantly. enjoy it, kind of. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's a little bit of stress because I know Christmas is coming and the chaos that it's going to bring and what, I don't know what my crazy husband's going to do next. <laughs> so I thought to my wife, I said, wouldn't it be a great idea if we pack that RV with toys? And so we got together with the Toys for Tots in order to give back to the community. We got over 4,700 toys our first year. The kids they just had so much joy in putting it together for other children and I was kind of shocked because I thought they would say, I want this and I want that because they were so little and I thought they would want to take the toys and say, I want one for me, but they didn't. I guess three years ago they were a lot younger, you know, and trying to explain this, you know, we're getting toys for other children was kind of tough. They get it now um, and they all have their roles. This year, the person who counts the money from the money box, right? Right? Look at all the money. Oh, sit down. You've got to be able to count 
That might leave you out, Zozo. And that job goes to Angelina. Yeah! Hey, that's not real money. It's, it's 10 grand. It's play money. My job is, wait, where's the key? So my job is, see this thing? I'm gonna have to um, open the lock and then get all the money, and then I'm gonna have to count it. Count Once it. we get the money, what do we do with the money? We buy toys. All right, and guess what? Who's gonna be in charge of picking all the toys out to not buy? Not Who's gonna pick out the toys to buy, Lena? Yeah. That job goes to Zoe. Zoe, Zoe good job. Wow. Wow. Last job is the toy captain. The the what does the toy captain do? He yeah, gathers all, or he or she, we haven't picked yet, gathers all the toys from the box and carefully puts them in the RV. So this year's toy captain is gonna be Ma Zachary. Oh, I thought I was gonna be the toy captain. I'm the captain of the toys. People are really yearning for just something positive this year. People are saying, are you gonna set up? Absolutely we are. Might be a little bit different. We're gonna be taking safety precautions and things like that, but we gotta get these toys in this RV and you know, no matter what's going on, we, we definitely gotta do it. Gina, look. We had a little leak over the winter in the bathroom. You smell something? Fried pussycat. So I would come home so many times and there'd be like a mannequin standing in the kitchen. I'd like catch myself off guard. I never thought that we could get so many people come by and really die hard Griswold fans. So I recognized that and I said, I can't have like a rented RV and a mannequin. Oh my gosh, the craziness to trying to find an authentic cousin Eddie. So Eddie has a fan on the back to keep them cool, the mechanisms, but the fan gets tied up in the robe. I would come home and he's in the garage with, you know those animated deer that move and he's taking it apart. The problem is it gets windy out there and Eddie uh, has a couple too many beers and he falls down a couple times a year. It's kind of crazy, but he'd have the pot on the stove with the mask inside the pot as if, if he's like a mad scientist and he's trying to mold the face, to turn the face, to make it look fatter, to blow it up like Eddie. I'm like, what are you doing? Now we gotta waterproof it. This is the thing, like I get, I do get concerned about this because it's the only one I have and I don't want this thing shorting out halfway through the season. But I just took this out this year just because I wanted to take them apart, lube them up. I know this stuff's certified for windows, but I don't know if it's certified for uh, lifelike mannequins. So last year I had a Coors Light can in his hand and a guy down at the shore, a realtor, said, look, you don't have the authentic can. So he sent me a Meisterbrow can. It's exactly what he's using in the movie. So fans of the whole display send us stuff. Somebody sent us a squirrel last year for the tree. Is that where you want them? Yeah. Right here? Yeah. Yeah, but listen, you gotta go in the garage and get the beer can. I dropped the beer can in the garage. On the on top of the RV? No, 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 it's in the garage. The top of the it says Meisterbrow. Do you know how to spell Meisterbrow? Zach, there's a beer can in there too. What's that? Shit is full. <laughs> All right, so now we got him positioned. Here he is. He's been on ice all year. All right, let's see. Does that look good right there? He's got to go down, right? You want to go plug him in? Go plug him in. I'll show you. Come here. And then we'll and I'll have you stand on the cooler and you can put his hat on. Ready? Is he moving? Is he moving? Let's go check. All right. You want to put the hat on? Yeah. All right. Stand up here. Now hold on. We got to turn it this way. Turn it like that. All right? Is it good? Yeah. Needs a couple adjustments, but there he is. Give me the thumbs up. No, because you might fall through the roof. No, I won't. Yeah, it's not very good. So here's my neighbor, Stan. Hey, guys. Well, typically, we have a guy that and his crew comes out every year and puts them up. I text him about a month ago, nothing. He overhears it. I got the crew for you. We're actually a demolition contractor and trash contractor, but 
me and him have got real close through the years with Griswold. And I have to tell you honestly, it's my pleasure to do this for the kids. Not, so, not for me, but, just the kids? I don't care about you, I care about the kids. <laughs> He gets out of there. Just face him down. Da, da, da. Do a cartwheel in here, gymnast. No, not. Why? <laughs> I know where I'll do a cartwheel. No, 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 no. We're not. We're skipping this one, this one, this one. We're gonna go under right here. This is the one we're doing. That line. No, yeah. yeah, not that line. Three down. See that's scary. See how scary that is. I know. See, that's why I don't want you up there, bud. All right, good. You got it out of your system. This is the part up in the tippy top of the roof. It always gets tricky. Let me see if I can. Oh! Steve. Steve. Dinner's ready. Okay, honey. I'll be in a minute. Oh. I thought it'd be cool and it'd be a cool challenge to try to get as authentic to the movie as possible. So I had Clark hanging from the gutter last year, but I have an animatronic guy going to make, you know, the guy plugging the lights in. What's this called? That's called a linear actuator. It takes circular motion from a motor and converts it with gears to linear action. Precisely. So <laughs> he's got to go like this, right? He's gonna plug the lights in. It's gonna be Chevy Chase, that smile, and I just need to get that over his head. Do you remember physics? Physics? Yeah, physics, that thing where you learn motion and stuff, yeah. and gravitational pull. We didn't really right. had physics. All right, so. We didn't have science for We're gonna apply school. what's called leverage. What is it? Leverage. Oh yeah, I've heard of that. I'm gonna have a rotational point here and here. So we'll have that connected, and as this goes up, this lever's gonna go like this. And we'll have tie points from this up to here. So as this goes down, this will pull down. As it goes up, this will pick up. Movement out here. I'll Google it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so I thought it'd be cool, right? He's pushing himself up on the roof. So we'll do, I'll do That's it. this guy. That's this guy, but I got all these parts. I'll put it together. Where's the hinge? This is the hinge? The flux capacitor is right here. This is not the hinge. What's this? That looks like a speed controller. That's what I was going to say. You know, I'll let you have this park if you get this thing done by Friday. I'm trying to quit. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's load them up. I'm going to lay them in flat. Sure. What I really wanted to do, maybe next year, can you do this? I'm serious. This is what I wanted. Like if you, the one hanging. Oh yeah. Just that would be cool. Yeah, we could do all that. All right, that might be next year. I just so. want more notice. What? M more notice than four days. Four days, man. <laughs> the next vehicle I got was, which is my favorite, is the station wagon. And no one really gets it. Like they, you would think that the wood grain, like when you're driving around, I'm like, oh, people are gonna know. And they don't. But the minute you put that tree on, it's a whole different story. So today we're at Stimson's Tree Farm. It's the only tree farm that I've found that have 20, 25 foot trees. What's your biggest, ugliest tree? Anybody can get a station wagon and put a tree on top, but if you know that movie, that tree sticks out about four feet out of the front and it sticks about two feet out the back with the roots and all of that dirt on the back. That's too small. Yeah, long. I want it to hang out the back and the front. Hmm. What do you think? Do you think that's too big? No, I think that's it. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no chainsaw. No, we need the dirt, roots, everything. Yep. All right, go down slow. I think you're gonna need to get that machine out. They don't waste any time here at AAA. One of the best things that I do, I torture my kids. Um, one day, I took the front wheel drive sleigh right out of the front yard. I said, get in. We would take the kids to school in the station wagon. Angelina, who's in first grade, was dying. <laughs> I get embarrassed. He's like just dropping me there, and then everybody's taking a video. I'm like, 
All right, we've got our 600 pound tree on the roof. It is definitely heavier than last year, which I'm a little worried that this thing's even gonna make it back. But then Zach's like, we're cool, right, Dad? I'm like, yeah, we're cool, look at this. So we got Stan's crew here. We're, we're, our goal is to get most of the lights done today. We'll probably finish up tomorrow. Uh, the cop car, I got to get over here and that thing runs like this. But yeah, we're going to probably have this thing all up and running by Sunday. But we're getting the old cop car. Yeah. And I volunteer my buddy Stan to drive it back. Yo, did anybody bring jumper cables? No, he's got, no, Kapler's he's got, got a box. He's got, he's, got the, he's got a boost uh, box. We got to have better luck with the cop car than we did the RV, right? Then you have to use the right side. Oh, the front door doesn't work, you're right. How did you know that? Yeah, there we go. I thought the criminals yeah. weren't supposed to get out, not the cops. All yeah, right. There we go. But that looks in good shape, can't wait. Yeah, want, baby, look at this. I want them on. We are live. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah, yeah man, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> no tags, it's not registered. I do have insurance on it. All right, try it. Let's go. Fire it up. Ooh. Let me go get some. Let me go get some real jumper cables. Yeah. Knew the car was going to be dead. I had brand new cables in my truck. I said, "Why don't we take that?" Blah blah blah. He said, "Oh no, we got it. We got it. We got it. Stop! Stop! Stop!" So I call my buddy John, the electrician engineer. Right? I say, "John, come on. We need a jump." Comes over. Drives his truck, gets out. Hey guys! I came to bring you a jump, meaning my batteries. If you don't have cables, that's fine. I can run the tractor supply. What are you doing? For my the record, I went to the track hall for electrical engineering. <laughs> I have big John, do you have anybody else with more trucks? So luckily, we called somebody else and they brought jumper cables. So at that point, we probably had four vehicles could, that could jump the cop car um, and one set of jumper cables. Yeah! Yeah, look, they're chasing God. me! Uh oh, there. All right, Stan, make sure those brakes work. <laughs> oh my God. That's a real cop. What was that? <laughs> he doesn't give a shit. <laughs> All right, brakes. <laughs> Skid it, safe. All right, stop. Oh, we're, we're overheating. Are you? Coming out. Oh my God, what'd you do? Here, pull it out, watch. Here, pop the hood. All right, hold on. Dude, you blew the radiator out. What? Huh? I pushed the radiator out. Yeah, you yeah. revved it up and look, you got rusty wood. Revved it up, I had it. <laughs> no? Yeah, just let it sit. Yeah, we'll open it up later. Well, we come by, we're going down Union. Yeah, I heard you went through red lights. He goes to one. Goes to a red light. There's a cop, Harrison cop. He comes, I'm like, he's getting pulled over. He turns the opposite way. I'm like, what was that? He's like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That's an antique, man. Now it's setting up all the spotlights, right? They gotta be lit up. The RV has to be lit up. I don't know how we're making out with the lights. Look, they got a lot done since we've been gone. So uh, we're getting there. We need some more double face tape. We'll put those on later. Uh oh, look. Still steaming. I smell antifreeze. Does anybody else smell antifreeze? So here we are. It's opening night. A little stressful. Very stressful the last couple of weeks. It's been crazy. Nothing went right. Cars broke down, but we're here. And typically, I'm on point, but like usual, I add stuff. So I added this Clark, the infamous scene, him plugging the lights in. We've got everything except for the head. So the head's being overnighted. I just got the tracking number now. So I had it improvised from the road. It's going to look great, but uh, tomorrow we'll put that head on there and he'll be complete. And we're trying to get it out on social media that, you know, you can't come up, you can't get your picture with Clark like you used to or Eddie or congregate on the lawn. Uh, but I hope that doesn't really scare people off. I thought about not doing it. And when I thought about the 9,000 toys that we collected last year, I thought about the 3,000 toys that we gave to St. Christopher's Hospital last year. Where are they going to come from? So what we're going to do is we're going to set boxes out by the street, like four or five of them, where they can just drop off a toy in those boxes. We'll bring those boxes in at night, and we'll load up the RV. There's never a quiet time in our house. 
during the holidays, so I never know what's going to happen. It's like having an advent calendar. As the time gets closer, the crowds begin to escalate. I think a lot of people come here because they get a wholesome feeling from being able to come to a place that reminds them of some type of family tradition. You know, having the Griswold house, it's special for us. We love it and we laugh and growing up, the kids will remember this and they'll remember, hey, my dad, mom, we had the Griswold house growing up and they'll hopefully remember the special memories that they've had. All right, first of all, welcome everybody to our very first night, Griswold family Christmas. Drum roll. Clark! Clark! Boom! Hit it! Let's have a hand! Last year doesn't even register compared to the unbelievable response that we've gotten this year. Uh, we dropped 2,000 toys off to St. Christopher's Hospital last week. You know, there's got to be 2,000 toys in an RV now. There's uh, probably another 2,500, 3,000 in my garage. You know, you can see, I mean, the traffic out here, it's just a Tuesday night and it's just packed. I lost my father three years ago, and the year that he got sick, you know, I was, I was up here, <clears throat> and I would always wanted to do this to the house. I said, I'm going to do the lights, I'm going to do the lights, and we were here six, seven years, and I never did it, and he got sick, and I went online, I ordered <laughs> 3,000 boxes of lights, and I said, I'm going to do it. He ends up passing away two weeks after Christmas. So the next year, we had no props, and I'm like, I'm not doing this. There's just no, I was not in the mood. I said, there's just no way. I said, he's gone, there's a huge void. You know, there's no way I'm gonna do it. Um, and I just heard that overwhelming voice, you know, go for it. That was his biggest line, go for it. You know, it was kind of, I think if I <laughs> sat on a couch to a psychiatrist, they would say it was a huge diversion. Clark Griswold at the end, he's out by himself. And he's in the front yard and he looks up and he says, I did it. And the first year without my dad, I looked around, I looked at all the cars, I look at all the toys coming in and I did the same thing. I looked up and I said, Dad, I did it. You go to bed singing, it's that time. <laughs> like, I can't hear that song one more time. <laughs> no, I just... Holy shit, did you see this big guy just do a split? Oh.